and welcome to our 18th musical care package since the lockdown began in mid-March. I hope that you and your family members have all been safe and well in recent months, and that you have been enjoying this ongoing series of weekly musical offerings from our video performance archives. Today's care package features three superb metropolitan opera singers, Matthew Polinzani, Isabel Leonard, and Megwe Jaw. They will be performing songs and arias about three very different kinds and experiences of love, beginning with Beethoven's glorious concert aria Adelaida, which he wrote when he was still in his mid-twenties. It is about the experience of sublime but unattainable love, which is a subject that Beethoven, unfortunately, came to know quite a lot about over the course of his life, since he had the bad tendency to fall in love repeatedly with women who did not love him back. Many of them apparently admired him as an artist, but most of them, unfortunately, were not attracted to him as a potential lover or as a husband. At the time that he composed Adelaida, he had fallen under the spell of a beautiful soprano named Magdalena Villemann. He pursued her, he proposed to her, and true to form, she turned him down flat. Fortunately for posterity and probably for Beethoven himself, he was already quite an expert at transforming the pain and considerable disappointments of his life into great ennobling musical art. And Adela Ida is one of the most beautiful and spiritually uplifting songs that he or anyone else ever wrote. In this performance, the Met's leading lyric tenor, Matthew Polinzani, and the wonderful collaborative pianist Ken Noda perfectly capture the soaring spirit of the poetic protagonist of this song. Next, we will hear Giuseppe Verdi's ever popular soprano aria, Caro Nome, or Beloved Name which is about the experience of naive and ecstatic young love. The court jester of Mantua, Rigoletto, has a beautiful daughter whose name is Gilda. And very much against his wishes, she has fallen head over heels in love with the evil Duke of Mantua, who has secretly visited and wooed her in the guise of a poor student. He tells her that his name is Gualtier Malde. In her aria, she ruminates ecstatically on this name, and she expresses her eternal, but from our perspective, completely misguided love for him. The beautiful, fast-rising mezzo-soprano Megwe Jong gave this extremely enchanting and virtuosic performance of the aria during our mid-February concert, which, as it turned out, was to be our final pre-lockdown event of the season. The final offering on today's musical care package will be Polo, which is the last of the seven popular Spanish songs of Manuel de Falla. It is a short but extremely intense outpouring of the kind of pain, resentment, and anger that we feel when our pure, unsullied love has been betrayed and trampled upon. This sizzling performance by the great Metropolitan Opera mezzo-soprano Isabel Leonard and the celebrated American guitarist Sharon Isbin completely captures the full range of tumultuous emotion that underlies this song. I hope that you will enjoy these three very different musical perspectives on love, and I look forward to being with you again next week.